Okay, so I guess we'll be going back about 20 years um, from, from when I was a Christian. Um, so I would say I grew up in church. So for me, it kind of always made sense. I like, I always knew who God was, what God had done for me. Um, I knew that I was loved. I knew I was chosen. I would say that in my family, it was my mum who became a Christian. So back in the 80s, being an Asian female, walking away from your family, the faith of Sikhism, all the actual traditions, that was like a huge thing. Um, and then for me, I kind of grew up in two worlds. So I kind of thought you could be like a secret Christian because as a teenager, the last thing I wanted to do was stand out. And I knew if I was gonna say I was a Christian, I was gonna stand out so much. And I would go to church and I'd look around and there was no one who looked like me. And I'd go to the temple and everyone was, everyone there looked exactly like me, but I didn't fit there either. So that was really challenging as well. And for me, because my dad wasn't a Christian and still isn't, we would go to the temple. And when you go to the temple, you're meant to metatic, which means you're meant to bow down to the gods there. And I used to do that. And I can just think back as a kid and I used to just, just feel so convicted. I used to just feel like the pain of what God would have felt by me doing that. But I was just like not wanting to upset my father on earth against wrestling with what I kind of believed as well. So it was really difficult. But I think like the big change for me was when I turned 16 and I was like, I'm done. I just can't do it anymore. And I went to college and I was like, I'm a Christian. And I've got to say it was amazing because I just felt so free. I could be who God called me to be. Um, and it was just such a, like such a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders. And again, you know, through the journey of following the Lord, it's been amazing. It's also been really challenging because one of the big things for me, for me saying I'm a Christian, was that I had to be willing and able to walk away from my family, from my faith, from my traditions, going against a life that my father wanted for me. And it's been tough. But there's like a verse in the Bible as well that says if you give up like your mother or father to follow me, that like God, God will bless you and he'll give you eternal life. And that's what I've got. You know, I was just thinking about my testimony and I feel like I've maybe lost so much, but gained so much with an eternal father who loves me and recognises me. I've had a stepfather who's really blessed me as well. And even a spiritual father through Pastor Dave, who was just there to encourage and guide me and help me. And, um, and yeah, here I am nearly 20 years later, still following the Lord, probably getting it wrong all the time, but it's just amazing to know who I am and whose I am. And I'm just so blessed and that's me.